Okay, so we're ready to enter some data into our table now. This is so this is the table in design view. If I come back up to this view icon and click view again, I can turn it back to um, back to the the using view. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like for real. So I could come up in here and I could start typing in some information. And if you remember, I've got some drop down lists and things. So um, I could go for with my date of birth. I need to enter a particular format. So uh, my format would look something like this, I'm making up some numbers here. But I could always come to this calendar icon and click on it if I wanted to change something. If it wasn't the 23rd, it was the 22nd. I can click on there to change it. My schoolhouse is now working through my drop down lists. Height is in centimeters, so I need to type in however many centimeters. Shoe size is in Australian sizes, so I don't know if maybe. Um, size 10 would be quite a big shoe suburb I'd have to type it in myself musical instrument again I'd have to type it in myself sport so this is whatever the favorite sport is and transport again is my drop down so I would choose how I come to school or how that person comes to school so I can type in like that um, but there's another way I can get my data in as well. So I'm actually going to show you how to delete this one. So I'm going to actually click on here with my arrow. And while it's highlighting the whole lot, I'm going to come up here and hit delete. And it's going to say, do I want to delete the record? And I'm going to say yes. So I'm back to having no records. Now what I did before was I put together a spreadsheet which has got the information in. And I'm going to show that to you now. Okay, so if I open my spreadsheet, there's my spreadsheet. I made this up earlier and uh, I've got my data in here. Now the reason you're going to use this is because um, with one spreadsheet you can all type in your own information and then you can all share this um, spreadsheet file. So your teacher will show you how you do that but when he or she gives you your Excel file this is how you use it. So first of all once it's saved we need to close it. It can't be open. The same goes for the table that we want the data to go into. I'm actually going to come to this first little X here and close it. Now make sure you don't hit the top one because if you hit the top one you close the whole database. So I've still got my table but my table's not open. So I'm going to come to this one that says external data. I'm going to choose the one that says Excel and I'm going to click on it. And The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find that Excel file. So I've got mine saved in a folder on my documents. That's mine, Homeroom Data. And it's a spreadsheet file. I can see because it says down here Excel and I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to click on the second one that says basically put the copy of it into a table that already exists. I've only got one table to choose from, the one called Students, so that's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to click OK. OK, there's my data. It's found it. Now the, the trick to this is that the name of each field in the spreadsheet has to be the name of the field in the database. So these all match up. I'm going to hit Next. It already knows, you can see this tick here, it knows that the first row of information are actually headings. They're the things I'm interested in. Hit next again, it says which table to put it into, that's the one I want, so I'm going to hit finish. Now, when I hit close, and if I go in and open my table up now, you can see it's put all that data in there for me. The only data it hasn't put in is the photograph, and I'm going to show you how to put photos in in a minute. But you will notice that because my spreadsheet had 30 or, or more um, entries, I've got all these ones that have got nothing in. So I can actually come here, highlight all of those in one go to the bottom, and then I'm going to delete them back in my home button. Hit the delete, get rid of those records. So now all the ones that are showing are the ones that um, I've brought in from my spreadsheet. Yours is going to have a lot more on than that. You're going to have about 28 or so, depending on how many people are in your homeroom. 